Today I started messing around with Design's image to video tool, and I gotta say, it's a lot better than I expected. Let's take a look. I'm logged into Design. This is the dashboard. In Design, you keep all of your creations within a project, and you can have multiple projects. Within each one, you have all your generations, you have your editing tools, and even the image to video. So I'm going to open up this project, and here's the image that I started with. In addition to supplying the image, the prompt I gave it was a beautiful young woman, her hair blowing in the breeze, turns her head to the left and smiles. And sure enough, her hair is blowing in the breeze. She turns stage left or frame left, whatever you call it, not her left, but left and smiles. I didn't expect her whole body to pivot around. I really didn't expect to get much out of her turning. So that got me both inspired and curious. Here on the right, I'll switch from the results tab to the layers tab, and let's just rearrange these layers we'll put her down at the bottom and i started with this image of this fella standing here with his hands in his pockets and it was kind of blurry so i went ahead and upscaled that move this layer on top and i ended up with this i went ahead and gave that the prompt a man facing the camera turns and walks to the left set that for a five second video he kind of shrugs pulls his hands out of his pockets puts them back in turns and then walks and his feet are kind of doing what feet are supposed to do that was the first thing that impressed me now there is a little flicker right as he turns and starts to move forward the kind of the color kind of shifts a lot better than what i see in some image to video editors and definitely better than what i'm seeing in a lot of image generation platforms that add motion or video i went ahead and tried that again and i took out the part about the facing the camera because i felt like he was just standing here facing the camera a little bit too long before he turned and walked away so i just changed that up to a man turns and walks to the left and he still faced the camera for quite a bit and then he walks the other way. He walks camera left instead of to his left. He does a little crouch down when he gets to right about here, and it gets a little fuzzy. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. Now I've continued to mess around with this and try some different things. Let me switch back to home. Then we'll go to the On a Cliff project. You can see down the right side some stuff that I've been messing with. I also deleted a lot of generations that weren't quite what I was looking for here. So this isn't the sum of everything that I've done. This is what I've got left after deleting some of the stuff that was just no way going to work for what I wanted to do. Over in the layers, you can see what I have on the canvas right now, which is this shot of the lady. And then beneath that, it's the figure on the cliff. The idea was I wanted to start with this figure on a cliff and then the video would end up revealing the character, that figure on the cliff, as a woman's face. This is my first go at that. Got the coat flapping, the wind's going. I'm not so crazy about the transition, but I thought it was pretty cool that it had the woman walking. Lightning did not work. I tried to include an image that had lightning in it. I tried to include lightning striking in the prompt and I tried to include both or one or the other and still I just have an image with lightning just fixed there in the background. And maybe there's a better way that I could have prompted that. This was my second attempt. This did pretty well again with the cliff, the clouds, the blowing black coat. It's a jump cut to her. This time she's not walking, but we've got that weird lightning back there. Another attempt. Again, great opening with the clouds and the wind and whatnot. It is just a jump cut. It does sort of pan and zoom, though, around her face. And I totally realized that the colors in the last frame image are not really consistent with what you'd expect if we're starting out here and this figure ends up being this woman. That's something I definitely should have fixed. In this one, I was doing a little future city hover car on a landing pad, and then we're supposed to end up in the driver's seat of the car, the hover car going through the city. For this one, and also the on a cliff, both of those, I provided both a first frame image and a last frame image image. For the stand and turn videos, the guy that turns and walks away, and the gal that kind of does a pivot while her hair is just blowing like crazy, those I just used a starting image. And this is another one where I just use a starting image. Now you see a lot more work going on over here on the right in my project, because I had a terrible time trying to get some dogs on a train or dogs on a bus. And it wasn't just an issue in design. I tried in several different platforms, several different models, and just had a hard time coming up with what I was looking for. And I just had to stop here because of the facial expression of this one. I did a 10 second video instead of a five. 
and they are supposed to be dogs on a train looking around and things passing by in the window. I like how, you know, the dog on the left sort of looks to the dog on the right, then the dog on the right breaks eye contact, starts looking out the window. It's even got some of his little little head hairs or ear there flapping, which is pretty cool. And the background imagery is not too bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, I could chalk this up to really dirty bus windows or train windows. In a previous attempt at video on this one, I had this weird yellow thing over over here and I was like what is that I realized it was actually in my original image and I just hadn't noticed it so I took my original image that I used to create that video and within design I just edited out that yellow thing then I recreated the video now I don't want to just show you what I did I also want to show you how to do it so let's come over here to mama boss and this idea I haven't been able to get out of my head since I saw Tim on theoretically media working on something with like a female mob boss leading some guys into their demise now I'm not nearly as talented as Tim, but we're going to take a little shot at going with our female mob boss, and she is going to be unfazed by this guy who thinks he's got one up on her. I went through a few different variations of getting the female character and the male character. So to create a video out of this, let's come over on the left and I'm going to click the image to video button. We need to give it a prompt, which can be up to 500 characters and supports 20 languages, which is fine, but I only know one language. So for the prompt, I just said the camera swiftly pivots from a fearless female crime boss to a man trying to intimidate her. She's not at all intimidated, by the way. Now, there's probably a lot more that I should and could be doing as far as the camera movement and describing all that. But we're going to go with this. I'm going to come down here for start frame and I'm going to say pick an image and then I can drop an image in here or I can pick one that's on the canvas. And the canvas is this center area right here. So we'll pick our female crime boss. Now we want an end frame. We're going to pick an image for that and that will be our guy that's on the canvas. And then the imagination slider gives you this yellow selected range and by default is dead in the center. If you move to the left, it's going to be more creativity. If you move more to the right, it's going to be more relevant. So I'm going to go right in the center. That's where I've been going so far. You can choose between a duration of five seconds and 10 seconds. But if you have an end frame image selected, you can't do 10 seconds. It's only five. I want my end frame. I'll stick with five seconds and we'll hit generate. Over here in the right, it says one job queued for waiting. And then it says waiting for five to 10 minutes. So far today, it's been taking right about five minutes. I don't think I've had any that have taken 10 minutes or longer. All right, just about five minutes later, our video finished processing. I didn't track it with an egg timer, so I don't have the exact processing time, but I'm thinking it was about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. It shows up on the top of this right panel. Now, I went ahead and downloaded this so that we could see it bigger than just a little preview there. It downloads at 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. She's walking with hands in her pockets and she's moving toward him he's got the pew pew in his hand but he seems very apprehensive and very concerned as he should be that's the point of the story look i know i'm not going to win an oscar with this or anything but it's exciting that someone like me with no talent and zero filmmaking experience was able to put together this little story in a relatively short amount of time i want to show you a couple of other things that users have created with designs image to video for that, we'll head over to Design's Discord channel. Start with this little clip from Freaky TJ. I'm not sure the prompt of how Freaky TJ came up with this, but I think it's a pretty interesting use of color and movement and mixed together. It looks pretty cool. Here's another one from Freaky TJ. The image is here on the left and then the video. So we've got this cyborg robot woman mannequin thing and these colors and lights going through. I just think that's pretty cool. Here's one from Ruben and Taino AI. I'm not really sure how to explain this other than I think it's pretty cool. Now there is music that complements this video perfectly. I went ahead and muted the music because I'm not sure if it's copyrighted or not, but this, this giraffe is just, I guess it's a giraffe, but this, this creature is just doing it. Look at the guy over here staring like what in the world is going on? Now this is a 15 second video, so I'm not sure if Ruben put a 10 and a five together or three fives together or how exactly they got it out to 15 seconds but the options within design are five and ten and if you're thinking there were any issues in that video as far as the movement goes someone else in the discord said they could see ai was having a hard time animating that and ruben clarified that she's just a bit uncomfortable with the outfit and accessories but it's her job uniform maybe she's breaking in her new shoes and got all these things on and that explains anything that was less than fluid movement in the video if you want to take design for a spin there's a link in the description 
It is an affiliate link, so if at some point you end up making a purchase, I may receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And I really do appreciate it when folks use my affiliate links. That's how I feed my family, so thank you so much. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful or at least got some entertainment, got to point and laugh at me or something. I do appreciate you hanging out with me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.